What is up, YouTube? I can get another video. In today's video, man, I got a video for you guys on pretty much uh, the 556 class setup that I use a lot when I'm playing multiplayer. And I, I wanted to do the 556 specifically today to show you guys my class up with it um, for the pure fact of there is a new skin in the store. Um, you guys can get it right now. It's absolutely free. It's called the uh, Memory Maker, which is the uh, going to be the like uh, I guess a Warzone one like memoration event or whatever. And it's basically got a little bit of everything on it. So you got like the Warzone Rebirth Island. You got um you know the '80s stuff from Cold War. You got the Vanguard some stuff from Vanguard. But the cool thing is you can kind of see on the base variant is the numbers, um, which is kind of what I wanted to do this video for because I figured why not since it just came out. If you put a Master Camo on it, um. It actually shows the numbers, as you guys can see. Um, and for anyone that doesn't get the reference, uh, this reference is basically the... Um, if you remember from originally, I think it was Cold War that brought them in originally, but there was um, multiple different guns that had uh, numbers. I forget which ones it was. I know the MP5 had one. I think the M4 and the AK had one as well. And basically they just had numbers glowing and moving and cool red colors and stuff. It was really cool variants. Probably some of my favorites that I still use over in Cold War when I do play that game. But yeah, so if you, it only works for gold and uh, poly, uh, Orion, and platinum. Uh, I don't think it works for any of the other camos in the game. Um, but I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, with that being said, let's get into the class of the boys. So we're using the... 15.9 inch Lockman wrap barrel. This is going to be like more of the LMG ish style looking barrel. Um, and with that, we're using tomb, all the way recoil, and all the way for damage control and damage recoil and all that stuff. Um, you should notice my last class setup. Um, I always go 100% to the, either one or the other. I know some people say you're not supposed to do that, but I honestly don't think guns are as good. For tuning unless you do this um i've tried the whole like finding the sweet spot thing sorry i just don't think that is actually a thing i think it's all in people's heads honestly unless we get an official word from infinity word saying that this is how tuning works i don't think that's how it works because otherwise there would be no point to let us go all the way right next we have the silent fire xg6 suppressor um i was kind of redundant on using this or a grip um, but this suppressor does help your damage, so you're going to be laying down enemies a lot quicker. Um, you could you could probably switch this out for a grip if you wanted it. Um, but the 556 has some pretty good controllable recoil, so you really don't need the grip. On that suppressor, we're again running all ADS and all bullet velocity. Um, kind of go by the, uh, by the understanding that uh, you want to keep your barrels and your muzzles to damage and recoil if need be. Um, but again, because this gun has really good recoil control already, I chose to go ABS. And we have a 40 round mag. The only reason I go for a 40 round mag is the negatives for running the 60 and the 40 are pretty substantial. I think that's the word. Um, so it, it kind of hurts you a lot more if you're running the uh, running the 60. Um, plus, I just think for my playstyle, I'd rather just lose out on a few bullets, but be able to ro reload a little quicker than. Um, you know, sitting for 20 minutes reloading. Next is the LMK64 grip. And then we have for tuning for that will be EDS and sprint to fire speed. Again, same thing for like the muzzles and barrels. I usually do um, grips in stocks if I can to EDS speeds and sprint to fire speeds. Um, and then obviously if you have an optic, you can do whatever with that. And then we have for the last thing is the Lockman S9 factory, uh, Stock with ADS speed and EIS, which is aiming idle stability. Now, this is something you can kind of mess with. I like to focus on my idle stability since I am never aiming around corners. Um, I want more concentration when I'm firing with aim, my aim and all that because I'm, I'm running and getting in gunfights a lot quicker and I'm not kind of waiting around corners for people. If you're waiting for people, Obviously, you might want to wa do aim walking steadiness and aim walking speed um, because obviously it's in the word there's aim walking if you're still aiming while walking, right? But that's about it. That is this class setup for the 556. Five, Let me guys know how you guys think about it, what you guys think about it. Um, and yeah, man.
Love you guys. I was one of a kind. You should be fun to the next video. It's been your boy. Peace.